Okay guys, so today's part two of the solar heater, solar oil heater video. <clears throat> we have the heater inside set up with antifreeze and water in it. We're running a 12 volt, 300 watt uh, heating element in it. Now in order to stay under that 300 watts, because when you're dealing with heating elements, it's not so much the voltage that really matters because it's made to be variant on the voltage. Um, it's the wattage you want to watch. Now since we only have a 300 watt element, we want to stay under that. So what we've done here is we took two 285 watt panels. <clears throat> and what we've done is wire them in series instead of parallel. Now, most of you know, or should know, if you're going to attempt this, the difference between series and parallel. Parallel is like running jumper cables, plus to plus, minus to minus. But by doing <clears throat> parallel, when you connect two of these panels, you end up with doubling the wattage. Whereas, we want the wattage to stay the same and the amps to go up. So, what we've done here is we've wired it like a remote control is done, which is plus to minus. Alright, so one leg of this has a plus to minus, and the other two legs are connected to the cord going in the house. So, what we're going to do is we're going to let this run at this higher amperage and see how much heat it produces over the next couple hours. The sun's just starting to break now, and it's like 10 o'clock, so not going to be the greatest day for testing, but we'll see what she can do in a few hours. Alright, so... We just now have got out of all the shading and other crap. Granted, our panels are not at the right angle at all. And the sun is being slightly shaded by some trees, but not bad for a good start. We'll see where okay, it goes. Okay, guys. As you can see, we're at about 101. We're getting later in the day. It's about 2 o'clock. Basically what's going on I think is it's radiating out all its heat faster than it can heat up. I mean it gains temperature very slowly. We're getting the wattage. It's coming in. The amperage and wattage is coming in. But I almost feel like it's radiating out the heat. Letting it go. Anything above 100 degrees it's letting go faster than it can fill it up. Uh, we're going to let it run a little longer, see if it'll go any higher, and then we'll shut it down for the day. And then I'm going to wait until we have some better weather. I'm actually going to pull this element out, and we're going to put in a 24 volt, 600 watt element. And it's paying the butt to change it. Um, but... I'll get it changed and then we will use two of the panels up on the roof that are a better angle, not perfect, but it's a year-round angle. And uh, we'll see what they can do. And we'll pump some power into this thing and see what it'll do. But let's see what it'll do for the rest of the day. I'll report back if we get any better numbers. Guys. I got her unhooked now. We reached about 105 degrees. I think it was just radiating heat out faster than it could put it in. Which, I mean, is the job of it. It is a radiant heater. And this is a design based upon, you know, not having to mess with it. That you don't have to worry about it overheating and stuff. But, what we're going to do is, this is the 12 volt heating element that's in it. Okay. And then we're going to set it down next to this one. That is a 24 volt heating element. This one's supposed to do 300 watts. This one does 600 watts. So the plan is, we'll pull this one, or that one, out of there. Clean it all. Put this guy in there. Silicone it in. It needs a full 24 hours to dry. Which we're not going to have sun for a few days anyways. we got showers coming, storms. But once we get it done, 
we'll hook it to part of the array that's up on the roof and see if the added dimension of the angle being correct and getting more hours of sun in a day or at least better ambient sun throughout the day will make any difference. There's also more surface area which does make a difference. As you can see this one's longer, has more surface area. So we'll take that as the next step in the evolution and see what happens next. So until next time, I'm Tony with Our World Outdoors. We'll see you.